Mindy Sterling, Shut everybody. Here she is. Here she is. I don't know how to be subtle. <laughs> uh, you know what? What's great about that is uh, I do a lot of these panels, and I can tell that you're also a voice actor because you knew exactly how to go right to the microphone. I, I've done these interviews before with people. And they don't know what, and, yeah. No, and they're like, so we did this one thing. With the thing. Yeah. And, and, and what I like is that you were like, nope, let's go right to the microphone. <laughs> so know how to use it. a mic, but I will not put my lips on the mic. I hate when singers, and you know what I mean, and they're like, and I'm going, oh my God, you're like, your mouth is all over this mic. But some of them will say, um, well, this is my mic. Yeah. You know, for singing purposes, but oh, I, you get that I don't. You've done a Ooh. lot of uh, radio interviews, I'm yeah. sure, and everything. You get that a lot in yeah. radio. I worked in talk radio for a long time, and, and you start to bring in your own little yeah. cover oh, for the mic. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because, they, because you'll come in some days and you're like, it oh, smells. smells like coffee, you know? Or, or Okay, now we're just, we're just totally grossing you yeah. guys out. I swear it'll get so much better after this. <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to tell you, I want to start off with just a little personal story from me. Although it ran for so many years, I couldn't believe how many people I've talked to over the years who, who hadn't heard of Dusty's Treehouse, one of your first oh gigs. Oh my God. And I, and I, does anyone remember Dusty's Treehouse? I think, a, wasn't it a local, um, it was a local Los Angeles yeah, show, Los Angeles show, a kid show, but it ran for like 12 years. However, when Nickelodeon first launched, Nickelodeon played reruns, and, and then they did newer episodes of Dusty Streets, and that's how I, I discovered okay, it as okay. a kid. And it was this Mr. Rogers Neighborhood type show. With puppets. With and, puppets and everything. And, um, uh, and I don't know what I was on it. I was I just like... I think you voiced a puppet, right? No. Oh, it was an acting. It was oh, a, I was, yeah, it was on camera. So I, okay. you know, I don't know. I don't know if I was the neighbor or if I was yeah. the um, waitress. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it was so long ago, I would love to see what I looked like, because that was definitely my early youth. I was blonde, I was an ingenue, so it would be funny to, to see that. Oh, hello. I'm coming to get you. It's the oh, class. hello. Come on Hi, in. Hi, welcome. I, um, that, that show, it was just funny finding out that you were on that show, because I had such fond memory watching it as a kid on Nickelodeon, and, and I don't hear people talk about it. I don't go, think a lot of people know about it. Yeah. I really don't. And it, uh, okay. in the early days, a lot of people may not realize this, Nickelodeon was only on part of the day. And it became what's now A&E at night. So by day it was Nickelodeon, and at night it was the Arts and Entertainment Channel, where they just played film versions of, of Broadway shows, musicals, and things like that. Who right? knew? I know. Me. He did. Just me. Wait, now we can go to you. We can interview you. Well, when I, <laughs> <laughs> sure. So uh, I'm a Gemini. <laughs> no. Well, here is uh, one of the coolest things about your career. Um, of course, everybody here knows you from the Austin Powers movies, but you've had this long and diverse career at being what I like to call that person, where for so many years people would go, you know, you show up on screen and they go, oh, it's that person. Yeah. Oh, it's that person. And, and you've... But you've, then they follow it with, I love her. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, but that has been it. You've, you've done everything from drama to, to comedy to comic horror to sitcoms and movies and vo a lot of voice work and everything. And, I mean, character actors get the most work, right? Yes, and they're, they're, they're usually the ones that, like, like you said, it's like, oh, my God, I love that person. Or you just, they pop up. I mean, I've been, you know, called, you know, lady at the bar, <laughs> um, you know, woman in the bookstore. You know, when you're given this, um, you know, ambiguous name of a character. And um, so it's nice because, I mean, I've even been on a show twice, but it's two different characters. Does anybody remember, um, um, oh my gosh, I'm blank now. Um, it's with Urkel. No, not Family Matters. He did, he did the, you mean the follow Family show? Matters. Oh, you're talking about Family Matters. Family Matters, that's right. I thought you meant it was No, Family Matters. I was on it twice as two different characters. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, and at that time, it was just like people were like, that's all right, we don't care. So, um, but it, it, it is being a, a, a nice being a character actress because I can kind of do what I do in various different ways and very different parts. So I'm not stuck with just being one type of a person. Well, and, and if you're a character actor and you're willing to do that, and especially if you live in, say, L.A. or you're in Toronto, places where there's an active you know, film and TV industry that's constantly going, a lot of people don't realize it's a day at the office, you know? It's, it's you know, you, you can be a character from Austin Powers, but then they go, hey, we need a woman in a bookstore. Yeah. And it's like, well, I'm not working this week. That's two days of work or a day of work. I'll just drive across town and do that. And it, you keep working, right? I and try, and some days you don't get the call. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, wow, am I ever going to work again? It's, it, you know what, we, we wonder why um, actors are so neurotic, because um, it is so unpredictable. You don't know when your next job is going to be. You audition for something, and you want it so bad, and you get nothing. You don't get feedback. You don't get to be told. I mean, every now and then you'll go, your agent will tell you um, they loved you, but they went a different way, which means they probably went ethnic or um, older or younger or it just you weren't the vision. So there's nothing concrete that you can be given that you can think about or work on. It's just, you know, what it is at the time, and you have to be able to go, Okay, all right, next. And sometimes you're still grieving the one that you just did and didn't make. So it is really hard and crazy for us. And you have to, you know, you have to keep in your mind, don't take it personally and mm -hmm. don't overthink it. Because, you know, as character actors, you, you'll go and they'll go, well, this is what we're looking for. And you do it and you think you nailed it. And then when it airs and they go in a completely different direction, like all of a sudden the person has dark hair and is tall and Well, then and you, you go, go, okay, okay, that's cool, you know, okay, or, you know, if a friend got it, okay, yeah. but... But it's I, easy to just go, was I so bad they went with someone completely Oh my God, no. <laughs> no, no, I always think I'm bad anyway. Um, so, uh, but it's, it's just, you know, I think it is learning how to deal with moving on and being okay, moving on. They're still calling me. They're still calling me for auditions. They're still um, offering me parts. So I can't be that bad. But sometimes you want something like everybody. You want to get that job. You want that whatever it is that you're looking for. And then it just falls through. You don't get it. So you have to be okay with that. That's what the business is. What's the, um, what would you say the ratio is to, I mean, now you, you've established yourself enough to where, how often do you get called and offered the part without the audition, would you say? Not as much as, I mean, you, you still audition till the, the, till the time you die. I mean, I, I've, you know, I know that other people have probably been, um, you know, I mean, more the higher status celebrities will audition. Um, or read or something. You just never know. So it's always nice to get an offer as opposed to going and having to, you know, learn the lines, drive to the place, have to audition, you don't hear anything, you go home. And it's, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a big, you know, process. So when I do get those calls, it's lovely. But I'm not going to say that 90% of them are offers. They're not. <laughs> well, and I think that would surprise a lot of people. I, th I think that there's this idea, you know, you, you have a part in a breakout film or a trilogy mm -hmm. of films, as you did, right? And people think, all right, sit no, back now no. and let the offers come in. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. And in fact, after Austin Powers, I was getting too many offers to do the same kind of role. And it yeah. was like, no, I'm, no, I can't do that. I can't do frow for everything. Um, you don't want to be Foster Brooks. Right. And then they would say things, well, you know, she's, she's, a, she's a different type. She's Russian. Well, my Russian and German dialect will be exactly the same. <laughs> I don't know the difference. So, and it would be, it's still sort of that same kind of person. So I don't always like to play like really heavy, you know, women with, with um, you know, that are nasty or they're bitchy, even though they're really fun. But sometimes I like to play lighter or not some, someone that's not together or a little ditzy or, um, you know, sweet. So, but the, 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 the women that are um, 
powerful and nasty, you know, are pretty fun to play. So I'm not going to take that away from them. Do you have a genre you prefer? You do a lot of comedy. You've got great yeah. comic timing. Comedy's in your family, right? Do you um, do you prefer comedy, or would you like to do more drama, or is it? You um, like I, I mean, I like both. I think comedy comes much more natural to me, and I do love making people laugh. To me, that's like such a gift, and um, to hear somebody immediately have the giggles or, um, you know, have to hold back laughter. But I do like drama, I do like drama, you know, I think, and dramedy is a big thing too, because it just means that, um, you know, it's, um, it doesn't have to be as broad. So you can really work on finding the nuances about having a comedic, you know, um, take on something, but also having, but things are serious. We're talking about serious things. I'm just kind of a, um, I guess, a, not a kooky person, but um, sometimes I, I'm funny and I don't even know it. And so I have to trust those times, yes. Sure. Um, a lot of actors, how do I put this? A lot of actors will warn you about or say they don't like to work with kids. You've worked with kids a lot. I love kids. So you like working with kids? I love kids and animals. Animals, um, I'm a little more concerned with animals. I'm always so worried about, um, you know, um, they okay? Do you, they need to take a break? Does somebody want to take the dog out? So I'm like a mama. And even with kids, I'm like a mama. You know, so I'll watch the kids and tell them, don't touch them. <laughs> um, but I love them too. So I'm, I kind of have that sort of in me, a very, that very nurturing thing. I, but I love babies and I love kids and I love animals. <laughs> That's like my, my soft spot. Professional show animals are are different, you know. I think a lot of people, when they first do, uh, you know, a dog movie or something like that, it throws them off. That just like actors, you know, the dog is is on and then cut off, right? And I do, I, and you have to respect that. And I watch them, and I just am always. I just want to make sure that they're okay. They they take their breaks, and you know, especially with kids too. Every, you know, they have to take their break. Nobody's mean to them because you have to, do, you know, you have to do it over and over and over and over again. So and um, you know. When you're working with babies, they always have, um, it's either the triplets or their um, twins. So that if one doesn't, a little cranky or tired, they use the other one. And dogs sometimes too, they're very similar. So we're going to use Jazz today and not, you know, um, Tim. And, um, oh, okay. But they look the same and stuff. So, and they're, they're trained. I mean, so I've never really had like a scary problem with an animal. I did have a, um, I had to hold on a, um, to a crow or something, a big old bird, and they were like showing me how to do it, and, you know, and so I end up getting a little nervous, because I don't want to, I want to do it right, so I'm never like, oh, this is great, you know, and blah, 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 so I remember holding, it was a kid's show, and I, I think once it had to, it had to fly, and it didn't, and, or once it flew, and it shouldn't, and so, but I've never been hurt, I've never been, you know, nobody's, um, you know, uh, I've never had a bite or, a, you know, a kid never threw up on me on the set. So I've been, I've been really lucky. <laughs> how, um, how did you get into voice acting? You do a lot of that now. Um, you know, I think just um, inquiring about, I don't know if I, I was originally from my agent got me to do a voice and then the great thing is, is there are, act, there are agencies that just handle voice actors. So I have a commercial, I have a commercial agency, I have a theatrical agency that does TV and movies. I have a voiceover agency. So I have the different categories so that they can just hone in on those things. And um, I, I think one of the first things I did um, was, I don't remember if you, you guys remember a show called Higley Town Heroes. It's probably more for kids stuff. But the very, uh, one of the other first things I did was um, Chowder. Does anybody remember Chowder? Mm -hmm. um, he does. Um, <laughs> but I, um, I became friends with Tara Strong. And you all know who Tara Strong is in the business. Amazing. I mean, she does everything. Mm -hmm. And we became friends, and she's just the loveliest person. And she said, you need a better agent. Um, I want you to contact my agency, my voiceover agency. So I contacted them. And they took me on, and so more things started happening for me. 
Um, and you know, and then after a while, you start doing things. Then people know who you are. They like what you do. Um, I still have to audition. Um, you know, for for the roles. So it's 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 always going to be there, and you just have to be you do the best you can and hope you're the one that um, is their vision. Well, that goes back to character acting, right? Yeah, if absolutely. You can, if you can do it well on microphone, you can yeah. work for a long time. Absolutely. Why don't we open up to some questions? We don't have a lot of time with Mindy, but I, I do want to get open. And by the way, she will be signing autographs. Or yes, come by and see me, and I have candy. Yeah, she has candy. <laughs> oh, that's right, you have the candy. candy. Questions? Someone. Question. If not, really? I'm going to continue. Can I ask a question of you guys? Yeah, ask me a question. Okay. So, um, if um, um, if you could never go to a Comic Con again, would that make you happy or sad? Very sad. Sad. Why? What do you love about Comic Cons? Meeting celebrities. Really? Is it you like that more than the um, actual vendors themselves? Because these are people that you, you've met and did it up. Have you been uh, pleasantly surprised when you see someone and you go, oh my God, you look like that? Like who? Who was it that you were like surprised that they looked older or younger or what? Me? <laughs> I said you yesterday. So when you saw me, you were like, what? She's beautiful. That was it. That was it. <laughs> but have you also been disappointed in <laughs> seeing people? I like, um, I, I love uh, obviously talking to celebrities. I like that I get to work these conventions like I do. And I don't mean that just from a work standpoint. I mean, but have, I really you been, have you been disappointed? Uh, yes. Have you? you? Oh, have you been disappointed when you've seen somebody or met somebody? Oh, yeah. Never meet your heroes. You've been sick or something. I heard Flair last year in Niagara Falls and looked really bad because he just had surgery. Oh, okay. Well, that I understand. But I mean, someone that just doesn't take care of themselves or they're not nice. So. Sir, you have a question? Yeah. Um, I think of all the Austin Powers movie, Goldmember was my favorite. Thank um, you. What was it like working with uh, Michael Caine? What was it like working with Michael Caine? Wonderful, wonderful. Well, you know he got to hit me on my tush several times. And that was, uh, and all I could think of was, oh my God, this is Michael Caine is hitting my tush. Um, and I so wish that it bruised, but it didn't. Um, <laughs> Got to be hit right yes. I, yes. Up Maybe. Hope you don't mind. Yes. Um, he, um, full of stories. I wish I could remember a story, but I can't. But he and Robert Wagner, because, you know, they're old time. And the, for me, those were like, in the dressing room, you would just sit there and, um, you know, listen to the stories and wonderful ideas and thoughts. So to work with legends like that is beyond. So it was very, very cool to work There's with him. There's always been rumors of a fourth Austin Yeah, Powers. every year. Yeah. Every year. Are Nothing. You, do, how how, how uh, possible do you think that is at this point? Do you think that there will be another Austin Powers? I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, because every year it comes up yeah. and nothing comes through. So I just keep saying, oh, I wish it would happen before we all die. That's my... my what do you think, typically? How long does it take to film a movie like that? Are you doing multiple times? Do you come in and do a part? He asked how long does it take yes. to film that movie? Yes. Like so I'm in, um, I may do, uh, you know, two days one week, four days another week, three, yeah. So you're, it's not like we'll get all Mindy's stuff in at once, no. So, it, yeah, so I think, I think they do, they, they would do movies, I think it was like six weeks, or I mean, they, they're pretty fast. Yeah. I uh, invite you all, we have to go, but I invite you all, please go to Mindy's booth, meet her. She does have candy, and, uh, is, and, and it really is a pleasure pictures. to meet you. Thank you, and That's thank you for moderating this, absolutely. absolutely. Please, Thanks for Mindy coming, Sterling, guys. Have fun today.